What's up, kid folks? Country Cousin, as you can see, you clicked on this video, you are interested in the Rapala fillet knife. This is a cordless fillet knife, as you can see. I'm just gonna go over briefly what comes in this, because I know really all y'all wanna see how does it perform, and yeah, pretty much how it's perform. But I'm gonna tell you what you come, what comes with it. Let's open it up. First, you get this nice carrying case. It's pretty sturdy. I like it. I think it'll hold up at time. I don't think you'll have to replace this. Um, right when you open it up, you'll see you get a manual. Don't mind this knife. It's actually one of my personal knives I threw in here. But that's the advantage of this case. You can actually throw another knife in here if you need to. But it comes with the manual, about the battery, because these are lithium batteries, and all that good stuff. So, boom. You open the flap, and this is where all the business is going. So, you get two sets of blades. You get a, I believe this is the eight. This might be an eight inch, and then you get a six inch, or this might be a 10. You get, I can't remember the length of the blades, but you get a longer blade and you get a shorter blade. You open it up, you'll see you get a manual. Don't mind this knife, it's actually one of my personal knives I threw in here. But that's the advantage of this case. You can actually throw another knife in here if you need to. But it comes with the manual, about the battery, because these are lithium batteries, and all that good stuff. Open the flap and this is where all the business going. So you get two sets of blades. You get a, I believe this is the eight. This might be an eight inch and then you get a six inch or this might be a 10. You get, I can't remember the length of the blades, but you get a longer blade and you get a shorter blade. Two battery packs and you also get a charger for the charger battery packs. That's pretty much all that is when it comes to what comes in this case. Let's talk about the knife. First thing you're going to notice when you see the knife, you're going to see this big red button. Okay, so it has two buttons. It has one on the bottom and one on the top. The one on the top is what engages the knife to actually go up and down. And the bottom, the bottom button is actually where it releases your blades. See how simple that was? And then you just slide them right back in. Don't mind my blade, they're a little dirty because we've been cleaning fish and we're gonna clean some fish today. And next you're gonna see, but above this red light, you see a little LED. It's a little light, I guess. Um, I guess when you're dealing like, in like low light conditions, you can find it useful. Me, I think it's just better to just to keep your head like it is there if you need it, but it's not necessarily strong enough in my opinion. That's probably the only flaw I have about this. The light is probably not strong enough. Well, it's not strong enough for me. Next, when you turn the knife back around, you will see you have a lock, then you have an unlock. So this is locked. Cannot pull on it, it's not gonna work. Put in unlock, ready to go. Just red, ready to go. White is not. A little bit lower, you're gonna see your battery indicator. This is handy. Now, I've been using this maybe for about a month, and let's say I have gotten it down to like the second battery, and it runs, I mean the second indicator, and it runs just as good as it does. It doesn't seem like it lose power. And then, you got your, this is where you put your battery. It just slides in just like that, and if you wanna take it out, you're gonna push on the sides of these little grooves, and pull them out. Um. It feels real good in the hand, got some nice grip on it. It's not a real big knife. Even though I got big hands, a person with a small hand shouldn't have too much of a problem holding this. But enough talking about the knife. Now y'all ready to see how this thing perform. All right, y'all. I got my bowl here. I'm gonna sit that to the side. And, all right, first crappy. So, all right, let's see how it works. I'm new to using fillet knife, so I'm going a little slow, but you can go fast if you're a professional. But as you can see, look at that fillet. That's a pretty good fillet there. Get a little closer. Need to get a little closer. Yeah. All right, y'all got a little bit better view. Rico out here helping me out. But, I mean, uh, boom, just like that. Oh! 
this this a bad knife, y'all. You gotta you gotta be knowing. You see why I'm going slow? Now, let's just cut the rib cage out. There you go. Two boneless fillets. I'm gonna speed this up. We're gonna knock a few more fish out. So, I just wanna make this nice clip. This knife is not struggling at all. It's just me going slow because I don't wanna mess up because I'm not new to this. Look at that. Fish got eggs. thing is working flawlessly y'all it may look like the it may look like the knife is struggling but it's not it's just me going slow because like I said I don't want to mess up I'm new to this I only had this knife for about a month and just want to make sure you do it right you know but this is a lot faster trust me then breaking out the old standard fillet knife and there's nothing wrong with it but hey when you got a good bit of fish and you don't got no help this is a good tool All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on the Rapala 12. Uh, let me know if you, you guys got one. Let me know if you have any problems. I had mine for a month. I'm having no problems with it yet. But hey, I like to see. I like to hear from you guys. So, that Rapala right now is certified. So, we're going to do an update. I've been using it about a month. We're going to do an update in six months. Then we're going to do another update within a year. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to finish knocking out the rest of these fish. I ain't going to bore y'all. And, um, yeah, see you on the next one, folks. Crunch Boy Passion.